Welcome back to ESL Pro League, and I'm back again. Just got shown on uh, on camera a little bit early. Luckily, I was wearing clothes. You just caught me in the nick of time. But we've got, again, a couple more matches for you tonight to finish off the week here on EPL on the B stream. My name is Hugo. Joining me, as always, and has ha as has been this entire week, John Allen. How are you feeling? Pretty excited. I'm really ready you to sound get into these games. I, well, yeah, hopefully I do. <laughs> I mean, that's my job, isn't it? To sound excited. Who know, and, and observe. And, and uh, do that, yeah. And we've beaten that like a dead horse. <laughs> Well, yeah. either either way, either way, let's move on. Fnatic versus Heroic is going to be kicking off our today's matches, and then following up Heroic versus Mouse Sports later. So let's just jump right in and uh, and and have a bit of a talk about um, the standings, and then uh, and then go onto the schedule, and then we'll talk about the game. So let's see the standings at least for the last few weeks. Obviously, Fnatic, as you can see, sitting at the top of the board. We've got their opposition. Heroic is in eighth place. A very impressive result against FaZe yesterday that we can go into depth in a minute. Anything else you want to talk about on the scoreboard? Anything else interesting there? I mean, it pretty much says it all. It, 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 this is one of those tournaments. Remember, some of these teams will have played more than others, obviously. Mm -hmm. Fnatic with the most games on the board there. They have played a total of, sorry, not the most. North have also played 16. Uh, and else 18, 18. On 19. <laughs> okay, so I'm lying yeah. to you. But Fnatic, I mean, have played quite a lot, quite a few. Some of these teams haven't played quite as many. Obviously, Na'Vi sat down there 12 games on the board. So this is one of those tournaments where this will really, really change getting closer to the final weeks. So at the moment, the standings, whilst they are an indicator, are certainly not a sure thing. Yeah, that being said, the Fnatic sending first place are in a really good spot. They should make top six if they can just keep up the form they've been doing. But again, anything can happen, as you said. We've got a few more weeks left of Pro League. And let's find out what games we've got coming up later tonight on both the mainstream and the B stream. Over on our stream here, the secondary stream, the better one, obviously, Fnatic versus HR, and then following up later, as you said, Heroic versus Mouseport. So, so two pretty good games to, to close out the week. We've got two maps on Mirage, a map we've not casted yet this week as well. And obviously Fnatic, a team that you love. So I'd say it's, uh, it's going pretty well today. Yeah, it's, uh, it should be quite interesting. Fnatic obviously sat at the top of the leaderboard, so expecting that they're gonna be able to perform relatively strong throughout this game, um, but of course, we saw the performance of Hellraisers, which we had talked a little bit about, we yeah. touched on just a little bit earlier. Hellraisers with a brilliant performance coming in against FaZe, which is arguably one of the best teams, or the best rosters in the world. Not proven yet, sort of fully, but... But a dream team and, and, lineup. And, yeah, exactly, a dream team lineup. So if they can bring that sort of performance again against Fnatic, I, it, could, it could go either way. Yeah, this is a really close game. I, I think the map picks as well are especially more interesting. Obviously, Inferno is being one of the maps for today. So um, opening up on that one as well, this is the exact map that we've not only seen Hellraisers take this map away from FaZe, as you said, mm. uh, just the other day, 16-10, but they also in Pro League took it away from Na'Vi, 16-13. And, you know, while Na'Vi, again, have been inconsistent, that's still a victory over two of you know, in theory, the best teams in the world. And hopefully, Na'Vi will, will prove that. But but FaZe certainly have. They just came off the back of a win of ESL 1 New York. And uh, and yeah, for Hellraisers to take that map away from them is, is very impressive. This team have only been looking to improve after the recent pickups of both Woxic and Vissa. So I'm very impressed by Hellraisers. I've always been a big fan of the team. Hopefully, they'll continue in a strong stride. But let's talk about Fnatic a little bit here, especially on the map picks. Mirage, an insanely weak map for them coming in at second place. Yeah, they just haven't been performing in uh, in sort of in kind with the rest of their, their showings on on Mirage, and, and maybe that's where Hellraisers are going to take that to bank and and be able to put in the put in the showing. Obviously, as we saw, moving up, starting to do work, but it, I think it really is depending on how Fnatic are going to show up today. If they bring out their, their good their best yeah. foot forward, they they you know they come into this map with with confidence, so having revised potentially the performance that Hellraisers gave, especially yesterday. I think they could. Uh, they, they, it's certainly their game to lose at this point for me. Yeah, I feel like they come into this one as as, as overdogs. You know, obviously, mm. you know, not not really a saying people use, but they come into this as maybe the expected victor. But also, again, with Hellraisers comes huge up, uh, upset potential. You know, one of those teams alongside LDLC that we've looked at, we've cast a lot of them this week. They've had those upsets, and Hellraisers definitely a team that, while hasn't proven to be top tier consistently, they have proven to be one of the few teams that consistently take maps away, but can't always win the series can't always go deep in tournaments or even qualify them. I mean, qualify for them. Hellraisers uh, have had issues in the last few weeks losing to some teams they really shouldn't be losing on, teams that aren't even in uh, the MDL, for example. So for them to, to 
you know, not only come off the back of some really devastating losses, but some also fantastic wins. It just shows the inconsistencies of this team. And hopefully with the two new pickups, that will kind of start to, to you know, fall back into place. We've seen the orping of Woxic especially has been something incredibly strong, especially up against FaZe yesterday, who was putting up serious numbers on the board, top fragging, I think, in the first map as well. And considering he's now the replacement orper for Dead Fox, a great player, but already an orper that is incredibly inconsistent. I, I feel like this pickup of Woxic has just made so much difference to the team and how Rises are just looking so much better. I would agree with that. I think that they have sort of been revitalized by that pickup. They've been able to just put of um, just rally around it and, it and it has gone very well for them as evidenced by yesterday. Um, Fnatic though, I mean, they, they've always sort of been there and there's a reason that I really like them yeah. as, a, as a, as they're sort of, they're my team. But you know, that's certainly who I'm backing, even even just on the stats this game. Yeah. Not 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 for my own personal feelings. Mm. Um, I'm backing them on the stats. Well, I mean, you, you go with that. You say backing up on the stats, but currently Mirage, their their history, they're four and twelve on this map in the last three months. Again, we looked at old Fnatic. We looked at you know OG Fnatic, the Fnatic mm. one majors. They were dominant on that map as anything. And obviously, it's been a long time since that roster kind of existed. We had the whole Godsend shuffle back and forth. And now we, I, I feel like we have this solid five, obviously, both Letgro and, and Golden being these, these two new players and starting to look good, especially obviously in EPL standing so far. But this is again Mirage. This is a massive gaping hole and a big yeah. question mark on this team when they've had such good performance on Mirage with the old roster, with the th same three-man core, and they can't repeat it moving forward. This is, this is strange. And this gives such a huge chance for Hellraiser to not only take one map, being Mirage, but again with their performance on Inverno recently to take this 2-0. I mean, I'll never forget the plays from, from JW pushing up aggressively with the AWP. They were sort of known for on Mirage as well, um, taking those aggressive stances, but obviously now not quite able to bring the same sort of thunder that they did before. Um, hopefully, against Hellraisers they will do. I'm hoping for that. Mm. I'm, I, I, I think it will be close though on both of these matches no matter what. I think it's going to be very close. Um, Hellraiser's putting uh, a lot of work in, putting a lot of uh, enthusiasm into how they're playing against these top tier teams. And yeah, I think it's going to go very, very even. Yeah, and talking about even, look at these odds here from Betway as well. Not actually as favorable as, as I thought here coming out in for Fnatic. And Hellraiser's actually, you know, I, I'd say these are, these are expected odds. It shows yeah. that Hellraiser's, you know, they're not undervalued like they were in the match the other they, day against they've Faze. They've learned their they lesson had from yesterday. 5.0 odds and the Hellraiser's yeah. won that series 2-0. Um, they <laughs> they have learned their yeah. lesson, uh, and that's that makes sense because again I still think Hellraiser can take this match. There's a huge potential. Again, this these are only the stats for map one, that being Inferno. Yeah. But um, yeah, let's uh, talk. Mirage. Uh, is it Mirage? Oh, I'm I'm wrong. Oh yeah, you're right because we got this Mirage sandwich. We got yeah. Mirage was first and last game of the day. You're yeah. right. So that's Mirage. Sorry. Um, so then these odds surprise me even more because Fnatic mm. have been given a, a lot of a, a lot of wiggle room for a map they're not now, very good at. Maybe it's because. Uh, it's it, it's a map that they're not super strong on. The Hellraisers are relatively close on the odds. The, the 0.5 differential isn't super big, uh, so they I mean they they are just going to be able to. They, obviously, these guys are predicting what we are essentially predicting. We yeah, think Fnatic are, have an advantage going in, but Hellraisers definitely have a shot, and they have quite a, a lot of confidence in them. You know, I'm going to go for a ballsy pick. I'm actually going to go Hellraiser to take Mirage. I'd like to hear your official prediction as well, so I can I, slate you if you're wrong. And I, well, I am, I'm, I'm definitely, like, it, it's you're Fnatic. Going with Fnatic. Fnatic, yeah. yeah. He's a, he's a keen Fnatic, uh, keen Fnatic man. I'm going to go with Hellraisers for map one. I'll reevaluate after the first map, and we'll see what we see again. Who steps up on the day? Uh, and again, talking about the teams, I want you to give your MVP here for Fnatic. Who do you think is going to be the man, or well, man or woman? No, who's going to be the man to stand out? For me, mm -hmm. I want to I want to see Flush again for those frags. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's consistently over the course of his career been 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 very very strong and and, and solid. Uh, Understatement but, of the year, I think. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think that I'm I'm yeah. really looking at him to to come a big on on the T takes and uh, on their CT holds. So, flusher for me, MVP for Fnatic. I'm calling it right now. Yeah, I'll go for Hellraiser's obviously the the, the counter pick. I'm going to go with Woxic for my decision. I think the Orpa for the yeah, team. He, he's been a great pickup. I think Issa would be a close second place in terms of firepower, but no, Woxic for me. Again, it's not just us two rambling on about about what we think is going to be uh, is going to be good and who we are supporting in terms of players. We want to hear what you guys have to say. Head over to PaySafeCard.com forward slash fan vote and vote for your favorite player of this month obviously you can also see all the previous uh the previous winners of, of previous months as well all the way back to august so be sure to go over to their paysavecard.com slash fan vote and vote for your favorite player right now and 
We're going to be jumping into the game right here in just a minute. So Ooh. things are starting to get exciting here. Mirage kicking things off. Yeah, as, as I said, it's a map we haven't seen this week so far on the secondary stream. Uh, it has been, I think, twice or three times on the mainstream. I'm not too sure. I'd have to double check that. But um, yeah, I, I'm surprised we haven't seen it so far. Yeah. It's a very, very popular map in, in sort of in sort of just across the board in competitive play. It's quite a standard map in terms of its layout, in terms of it is going to be thoroughly trodden into it, with all the with all the set plays known by all of these players. They're going to know how to play around, mm. and we'll see. I mean, we'll see if it if it comes to bear. Two okay. versions of this map today as well. I'm pretty excited for that. Well, here we go into the map, Mirage to start things off. But look at this buy, just instantly fanatic with a triple utility setup on the T side. We've got two, oh sorry, three sets of smoke, a Molotov and two HE grenades with flashbangs to support. Fnatic are going for a real set piece on A. And look at the setup for Hellraisers. Retake. We've got Issa in the CT spawn. We've got everyone else playing towards the B side of the map. So right now, this is a perfect setup for Hellraisers. Fnatic can use their utility. Hellraisers just looking to get right back into the site as soon as the bomb goes down. But that double nade into CT is perfect. They are able to just close out that pressure that they have and pushing onto the site. They're going to get the bomb plant almost immediately. Golden, actually. Trying to frag out his teammate. That's the wrong team, my friend. You are terrorists and you're playing against Hellraisers on the CT side. Look for those uh, P2000s and Wox is going to be looking for Ooh. his as he lands two shots beautifully towards CT. So now three players left on the hold as Hellraiser's push in for the retake. Lecro going to be playing up close and pays the price. Zero able to get the pick with the CZ, the smoke on top of the bomb. It's now just Crims playing on Tetris. It's shooting through the smoke, but he's not going to find anything in there. Angel just closes it out and Hellraiser's with a really good retake able to get those two picks towards CT, able to just push all the way back onto the site, smoked off the bomb, and Crimson didn't really have a chance there. Yeah, really good round from uh, from Hellraisers on the retake there. Obviously, the, the, the setup kind of allowed for that, but surprising that Fnatic didn't save a, a flashbang. They had two of them there to go for that CT aggression. Obviously, we saw Walksick and Zero just rotate in and, and decimate Fnatic on that retake. I would have liked to see a, 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 C, a CT flash come out from the T side to just burst them into CT spawn, kill those B rotators, get back into the uh, get back into the round. But no, Hellraisers now full rifles. Very rare, especially on a map like Mirage. So this is interesting, but they want to play their cards right. And expecting maybe a force by from Fnatic in this round, they want to shut it down. Nothing coming in though. Fnatic getting completely decimated. So Hellraise is going to pick up a clean 2-0. One player lost in the process, but now the buy comes out. So that's one of the positives of not going for those SMGs. They don't have to go for any kind of crazy bonus rounds. They can just play rifles versus rifles. And obviously Famuses aren't the best, but they're going to be able to contend with the AKs. Going back to basics, obviously Fnatic, a long-standing organization. They remember the days where it was just save, buy those rifles when you can, don't even bother with the SMGs. And that's exactly what they've gone for here. And there's a reason that you would do that. As you just said, you tr you can out, out, out arm yourself against Hellraisers because they're going to be stuck on those three Famuses. They're not going to have the same sort of firepower that you're able to bring to the table. And those five AKs, such one-tap potential across all of these players. And Fnatic really have strength moving into round number three. And it's where they want to be able to take this one as well. And when you have a crux like your Hellraiser's aggression is what you're expecting. So look at this double setup on ramp. We've got Issa and Angel starting to push up. And just to gain information, maybe get a pick and fall back. And even if one of them goes down, there's trade potential there. So Hellraiser's knowing what they've got to throw into this round to give themselves an inherent advantage because they're already lackluster in terms of weaponry. However, Fnatic are playing very passive coming into this first buy round, not willing to push too early on. So a minute left on the clock, we're going to start to see smokes rain over. But Hellraiser is playing such laps mid control. With this push up towards ramp, Wok6 is just going to be holding off in the jungle. The smoke goes down, and it's looking like an A split. With Flush are going to be good, sorry, going to be coming in late through the underpass. We've got two players pushing down towards the top of middle. Fnatic just looking to take connect control. They have taken all the way up through mid, and they're looking to take control of that window position. Woxic forced all the way back through to CT spawn through vent that got broken earlier, and they're looking to go for this site, site take. Lecro able to open it up now onto Angel as they look to push through on Connector. Rotates coming in from the CTs, going for that hold on the A bomb site, and the time is ticking away. 20 seconds left on the clock, and Fnatic have to hurry things up if they're going to be able to take the site. Oh, Issa's position is crucial right now. He shuts down one, and while it won't stop the bomb plant, it makes the job easier for Hellraisers on the retake. Bomb only just getting planted as Woxic jumps up from the ticket booth, not going to be able to take him down. Flash into CT, and Lecro, he's just going to hold on. We get zero finding a kill in the meantime, but Woxic dead in the water is going to mean Hellraisers already at a man disadvantage on 
this retake. They'll just fall back. They don't even want to go for this. Fnatic will pick it up in a really slow round from the T side, but they make it work. And they pick up the first AK by round as well. How Raze is keeping two players alive is going to be difficult to justify the fall by coming into the next one. But we'll see what their money's like. We'll see what they decide to do. Probably just going to see three pistols board up alongside these two rifles and, and just start to wait for the loss bonus at least to build up on the CT side. Of course, with those Famuses, they didn't spend too much. They will have a little bit of money left over. Zero. Good find. A couple of frags, but yeah. Golden actually shuts it down. So, yeah, that's even more exaggerated now. Ooh. Nearly, nearly exposing himself to the full uh, takedown, but yeah, they, they're not really going to be able to buy much in here. I'm expecting a Deagle maybe in the hands of Zero, maybe a CZ or something like that. They did manage to save one rifle, but no, there's yeah. the Famuses. There's another rifle. They're going for a force. This makes sense. I guess they did just get reset. So again, they've got the double eco regardless. Whatever happens here, they're not going to be able to buy up until round number six. So again, throwing in this buy doesn't really stop anything. It doesn't limit their next buy. It just means they'll have maybe no AWP or, or less utility. So it's worth going for. Again, if they can reset Fnatic early on into this game, they can get a commanding lead on the CT side, but unfortunately for them, so the setup towards Fnatic is quite good. Luckily, Woxix boosted in the window, and he's going to have a great angle to shut them down. Spots two players. Damage done, but it's Lecro pushing in from the top of middle, combined with Flusher in the underpass. So double trade here for Fnatic, despite losing that first pick. They do have the advantage, moving into wherever they really want, but again, the bomb taking that passive drop and, and trying to find those picks before they rotate in could be a little bit risky, but two players, again, traded out, and Hellraisers find themselves once more in this two versus three. They backed off of the situation last round, looking potentially to do the opposite this round, as the bomb still hasn't been spotted out. A minute left on the clock, and the bomb finally gets picked up. A flusher over on the B site is going to open that one straight up, and they know there's a player on the A site. I'm, there, the bomb's just going to run straight there. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. No reason to fight Woxic. They've already seen him. So he grabs himself an AK. Could realistically go for this, but he's got to rotate fast because he doesn't have a kid in play. And I don't think they have one at all across Hellraiser's buy around this time. So if he has a fast rotation, maybe he'll just make it. Misses the jump. Will he land? Okay, goes for the safe option. I don't blame him there. Doesn't want to rotate in through short. He's going to start to push on up. And the bomb down. We've got Flusher deep in apps, and with this afterplant already, it's looking very difficult. But Woxig, look at that shot. Takes down Lecro quickly on the entry, and he's going to start to move in, but he's got so many angles to check. Bomb plant position is default, so Flusher should be expected in the apartments here. But again, it is Flusher. He can be anywhere. Woxig starting to walk in. Needs to win with an ace this round. He throws in the Molotov. And that could be good, oh. but he hits the wrong side. He actually rebounds it towards himself. So Flusher not going to go for the peak. The flash thrown through forces Woxig off the bomb, and he's just going to reconsider. Four kills can't get the ace, and it's Fnatic to find their second round. That whiffed Molotov was so crucial. If he there. got that, that's a round one for him. Absolutely. I mean, Flusher could not have pushed through. He wouldn't have the, the HP just to survive walking through it, and he wouldn't have been able to go for the peak. Hellraisers could have got the defuse there and put that round on the board, especially off the back of their first eco. They're going to have to eco yet again. They do save the AK, um, but I imagine a pistol maximum this time, certainly, because the round loss bonus starting to add up now. Fnatic popping a MAC-10 on. They suspected this, and this is the sort of strat that we actually haven't seen too much. A lot of the time, these teams are going for just the full buy by the rifles. We don't want to take that risk, but this time, Crims has opted to go for that MAC-10, so against these unknown opponent, opponents, he should be very, very strong. Again, we've watched a lot of LDLC, so there's no no one ever buys up a MAC-10 versus LDLC because you don't know what LDLC are doing with their buys because they don't even know what they're doing. It's the next level strategy. Rushing to be a couple of kills on the pistol, so good damage done considering the low investment, but no more should come through, you'd like to think. JW shuts down the mid play, and there's only one player left. He's been spotted. Nade will go in. That could do some good damage, and it will. But Issa looking to save and actually doing damage on the exit as well. This AK, if he just holds on to this, it's a bit more money made. Potential for him to throw over an AWP as well. So Hellraiser's not going to pick up the round, but they do get damage done. And considering the low, low investment, one saved AK, four USPs, they get three kills. I would not complain. And they've limited Fnatic's economy at the same time. They have been able just to... Uh, take those rifles off the board, out of the hands of the T side, and time and time again, we've seen the case be that it's just not, it's just not going to be uh, in it's a strong economy from Fnatic. Even though they're winning these rounds, 
it's look at I mean look at the money 2k maximum after the rounds the rounds one they're going to have another buy behind them but they're going to have to spend that on the rifles for this round three players need to rebuy so they are going to be kept relatively uh, relatively low meanwhile hellraisers now have a very even economy coming off those two ecos yeah and that's going to allow for this full buy here AWP surely going to come in for Woxic I'd be very surprised to not see him buy that up with the money and yeah he'll go for it so this should be a very good buy for hellraisers but again they lose this Fnatic not only gain a fourth but force them to eco once more. Let's see. It's Fnatic. They set up outside of the A bomb site to kick things off. Very heavy presence. Flasher alone in middle as per usual, but everyone else just going for the execute. We've got JW up in the palace with an AWP. And again, Harris has a lapse A control. Only one player on the site. We're just going to see Fnatic start to run on through. And Woxic, defense with the AWP, lands the first shot onto JW. Flusher has the flank, so if they do go for this push, and there is someone pushed up a little bit too aggressive, he can punish them. He is going to be the man who is going to be able to take them down, and Crims is going to allow him to do even more than that. Lecro finds one as well, but shut down from the short and Woxic from CT is going to mean that there's only two players left on Fnatic side versus three for the retake on Hellraiser's Woxic taken down to 20 HP as well. Flusher going to be playing up on the Palace Golden in Tetris, so they do have that sort of that foothold that they need. The CT is now starting to rotate in two through connector, one through CT. No utility left on Fnatic either. They're going to be really hard pushed to hold this one. Especially with Zero with all this utility as well. Can throw that incendiary into the palace as well and just stop anyone from pushing out. Instead uses it under dark, but it's Woxic to drop Golden and Ramp, leaving just Flusher. This is not doable, surely. We've seen him do crazy stuff, but he won't even hit the shot. Does damage onto Woxic, but it's the round over. Nice AWP shot from the man himself, and Hellraisers will pick it up on the CT side. Three to three now. But Fnatic, weird money. I mean... We could see them buy just off the back of it. Electro getting an AK and, and a flashbang. Flusher maybe dropping over something and getting three, four rifles. Yeah, four rifles. Oh, okay. No, they can get four rifles. This is really good. So they go for the Lils. I'm surprised to see that. But yeah, not too bad on utility. They've got some smokes. They've got some flashbangs. And again, if they pick this one up, it's uh, it's going to be pretty positive for them because it you know resets the economy of power raises. Woxic trying to get the pre-fire through the smoke, but it's not going to happen. They've learned that lesson from that last round. They do have that presence in shorts to contend with as well. Fnatic, time and time again, we've just seen them try and take that mid presence. Flusher on his own last round. This time, they've actually put a lot more into that. And in the previous rounds as well, we've seen them try and get that foothold. Hasn't paid off a couple of times, but could pay off this round. Dead Fox holding up close on the short, looking to spot out any players, and he will have any information if they give away any sound. He's just going to be calling that one out straight away. Doesn't look like they have heard anything. They are playing quite aggressive towards ramp and the rotate from Fnatic coming towards the B site here. Yeah, with well, JW already found his way in window, oh, in ladder room, sorry. That's going to be Fnatic already want to go for the B play. They have such a quick push up through short from him. They just throw down that smoke and then they can just commit to this bomb site. So now the, the smoke's starting to go on in or it's the flash from Flusher, but the Molotov will still hold these T's back. Still, it's going to be the uh, flank up short that we talked about. JW just styling as you would expect. Two entries, B bomb side opened up, and Howard is considering the save. Uh, it makes sense at this point. Fnatic, five man strong. You know they've got rifles. You've seen those AKs, and you know how good Fnatic are with them. Hellraiser is just going to back off. They want to save that, and they are going to do damage nonetheless. Flusher does fall with Woxic taking the shot down the short. So, one rifle at the hounds of Fnatic. They don't want to go for this aggression here. They know that their economy is pretty much shot after this round if they lose, or if they lose too many rifles. Three maximum, and now they've got rid of that Galil. It doesn't matter too much, because obviously they would have been looking to upgrade it anyway. So they have sacrificed that. I think it was Golden who initially started with it, but Flusher obviously dropping him his AK once he died. Um, and yeah, so Hellraiser is just looking to save up those three rifles. Fnatic looking to do the same with their four. I don't think they should be going for this hunt. They are just moving as a pack. So surprising in that previous round to see JW allowed to get up short like that. Hellraisers have been playing a very passive mid control, even with Woxic on the AWP. So to see them give up mid, but also not check anyone on short is really odd. They obviously have that player in market, the second player that JW killed, but he can't support at all. If we've got one player sitting on the van, he can hold apartments, leaving the second player to play site potentially. Hellraisers is a bit of a weird setup there, laps mid, and it catches them out, but Woxic again on the AWP, he's going to be going fast in, misses the jump up, and he's just going to fall back into the connector. But the Molotov going down he doesn't want to peek into that one so Fnatic given passage over mid for the time being and they are going to take it instantly again they've been pretty heavy on this mid control so far on, on the T side and with these smokes as well it just renders the CTs useless Woxic not even able to contest again this is a really old school approach to Mirage take mid control then launch your attack from there 
I really think it's very good going back to those basics and Fnatic seem to be putting their numbers on the board to agree with that. They have got four rounds now over three and Hellraiser's now on their last sort of buy that they're going to be able to cobble together. If they lose this one, they will be pushed further into the lead. Golden has pushed up into the underpass and it looks like they are just going to go try and take it straight through Connector, but the bomb isn't really dropped for them yet. Angel is holding the angle and he just misses the cross as they do start to push up the short as well. Dead Fox taking the challenge. JW wins it out watching Connector, but Angel doesn't take the peak in time and he's just going to get spotted out if they opt to push up, but they are unaware completely. Yeah, great kill, but now he can't really back off. He's got the smoke behind him. He's got a, a lot of open ground to move past. It's Woxic trying to keep him alive, but he only gets one before Angel goes down. And with Flusher as well, opening up the B-bomb site, it's Hellraisers with two players alive. They have to go for this. They need to go for this, because again, you said it yourself, they're down to Eco if they lose. Golden, spotted in middle. They need to isolate this frag as well, as Hellraisers have the option for a two-on-one fight. They won't be able to take him down. Golden just living to fight another day, falls back towards a T-spawn, can wrap in through the apartments just in case Hellraisers commit towards this B-site. But again, they're taking it so slow, they're not going to have time for this. And yeah, Golden's just going to drop Woxic. This round is over for Hellraisers. And they aren't going to be saving too much with that M4 as well. If they do take the challenge, Fnatic will come out on top here. Obviously, with that round buffer, they do have a little bit more cash left in the reserves. Issa wants to hold on to this with with everything he's got really i mean the m4 going to be so valuable moving further forwards not to mention the fact that he's got full armor and a diffuse kit as well so a lot of value in that save if he's able to manage it just a couple of seconds left and he's going to get away with that one so Hellraisers take the loss there and they aren't going to be able to buy up too much. I would imagine they might be going for a force here potentially. No. Um, just, no. just Deco. We've got so much yeah. loss bonus. Um, oh no, sorry. They actually just came back off. No, no. They, sorry. We have got loss bonus. We've got, we got enough loss bonus to play with. They can just go for a, a single eco and we've got 2400 coming in next round. So yeah, they keep 2k. They buy up next. And Moxic even has 3700. So that's definitely the AWP next round. That's something at least to play with. But again, he's been spotted in middle. and. Fnatic have just been dominating this area of the map time after time, round after round. Hellraiser is not able to contest with it at all. But again, it is a pistol round. We don't need to look into it too deep. Angel going to grab one kill in the connector, let her to trade. Fnatic, one by one, going to start just dispatching of Hellraisers. Although... Well, Issa's going to dispatch himself a couple of Fnatic players. Two have gone down already, and now it's back into a 2v2. Zero is going to be backing him up from the CT position. The bomb hasn't been spotted out, and it hasn't been dropped. And that's going to allow Fnatic to push up the short. That's the power that you get and the ability to rotate away by not having that bomb go on the push, dropping it a little bit more passive. And JW pushing up towards Connector on the A site. Not too sure about this. He isn't backing up Golden on that B bomb site. Has the bomb as well. So if they drop that here with a minute left, JW is going to have his work cut out for him, but it's going to go Golden's way. So a sigh of relief for Fnatic as they're able to get the plant on B. Zero, again, he's so far away. If he's going to go for this, he's got to move, but no armor, no kit. A single HE and an AK just looking to hold onto that gun. Fnatic striking fear into the uh, the hearts of Hellraisers as we're going to see a 6-3 to three scoreline on this T side. Again, for some context for those unaware, Fnatic currently 4-12 and 12 on this map in the last three months. Not been putting up numbers at all. Sorry, 4 out of 12, so 4-8. and eight. Um, So still, yep. n not, exactly, <laughs> not exactly a great scoreline. One but, third, uh, 33%. Yeah, thank you. The mathematician. John Allen does math. <laughs> John Allen does math. Find him on Twitter. Well, <laughs> either way, it's it's six for Fnatic, and they've been showing some pretty good rounds so far on the T side. And Hellraisers, is again. They need to they need to lock down this mid control. We need to see a little more presence from Woxic. He's going to have the AWP into this round. I'd like to maybe see some mid aggression from him with support from Short. But again, Fnatic smokes have been very good at isolating these players in mid. They always throw down the top mid smoke. This allows anyone to peek up from Short. So maybe just a connector combination with Woxic and Window, assuming Fnatic don't smoke that as well. I'm expecting some more mid control to come through for them. Woxic has been playing very, very aggressive, as you said. Maybe trying to capitalize on that. He has taken a little bit more of a passive play here, playing just in that window. Very, very standard, but JW aggressive up very quickly. They heard that shot go through, so they know that there's going to be a player window, and he's just going to be watching for that peak on towards the A-bomb site as they set up. Haven't thrown all of their smokes yet. They are just lining up, waiting, biding their time for Hellraisers to allow the push up mid, but Issa takes down Golden on the front of the flank. He does get fully flashed, but a lot of damage onto Crims as well. He's already done his job. Angel takes down the flank, and Lecro isn't going to be able to back up the rest of his team. Issa falls back onto the site, and Fnatic, it's all crumbling around their ears right now on this push. They haven't even been able to aggress onto the site. 
And they really don't have much more to play with here. And two players go down very quickly. Issa doing huge work into this round with that M4 and the sprays. I think he got four kills there. Three, yeah. Such a great sight anchor. So good. Gets aggressive, but gets a pick and just falls straight back. Crouches below the uh, the cement bricks there and doesn't allow Fnatic to trade. So they're instantly fighting the round at a man disadvantage and just go for Lecro to try and get a, a playoff into the connector. With him getting dropped from Angel, it's them Fnatic with three players on ramp left with, or sorry, two players on ramp, one in Palace left with no option other than to just walk out onto the A bomb site, but that's a slaughter. Hellraiser's has already pre rotated players on through, and with Woxic as well with the AWP there at CT Spawn, they had the manpower for the job. So now it's Hellraiser's taking one, but far from the lead. That being said, they are only a couple of rounds. Fnatic not having a full buy here, so assuming Hellraiser's win this. We're going to see an eco here from the T side. So 6-6 six, six is looking very likely if Hellraisers can wrap two together. Still have their work cut out for them, and now it's going to be even more difficult. Dead Fox does go down, and JW with an aggressive peek onto Woxic, able to clean out that mid yet again. But Angel, they have no idea. He hasn't checked the angle. Flush, oh, he missed the headshot. And against a player like Flush, you don't want to be doing that, but he is able to get a second frag as well. Golden picks that one up, and... Now they bring the score lines even. Lecro trying to use the AWP, but not able to land the shot through the smoke. Checking towards that window room, trying to find any rotates coming out from Hellraisers. But yet again, Fnatic with that passive bomb drop means that they haven't, even though they've taken the A site almost completely, they aren't able to get the plant for another 10 to 15 seconds. And they have no smoke as well. So if they go for the open bomb plant here towards the CT spawn, Issa is going to be in a perfect position. They need to clear this one out. And Issa doesn't need to peek at all. He just needs to wait till he hears that bomb sound. Molotov is perfect though. That's going to force him into the open and he gets spotted. Damage onto Crims, but it's not enough. It's Angel left to rotate into support and he's not been heard from Lecro. Is that JW, sorry? Up in the window. No, it is Lecro with the AWP, but now he's finally been spotted. So. Got his work cut out for him as he pushes on through. Lecro hits a shot. The AWP picked up from the body of Woxic and Fnatic. Look to get this reset here into the 11th round. Again, if they pick this up, we see Hellraisers with no money once more. And a really strong T side so far from the Swedes. Very, very coordinated. They've been doing exactly what they needed to. As I said, they've been playing very, very standard CS here. Taking that mid control on Mirage as you do and just being able to operate through that. And the round that they lost, they didn't do that. I just want to point that out. And actually, their, their, their mid flank was shut down. Uh, Lecro was, was taken out. As well. Exactly. It was only one player. When they invest those three, even two players into mid, they do very, very well. Now, Woxic trying to shut that down again with that aggressive play doesn't manage to do anything. It means that they just have that mid control once more. And Fnatic have been doing so much good work with it that it just seems like you need to put more into mid. If you're Hellraisers, you need to think, OK, they're really exploiting this position, and we need to do something about it. It's so hard with the utility Fnatic are putting down, though. They're being relentless with this. The so smoke's going off early into the round to just shut down that mid-peak to go up on short as well. Fnatic are taking this one well. And while this one will be a bit slower, Woxic has actually pre-rotated with the AWP back towards CT spawn. So Fnatic not got him to contend with in middle. Instead, we're going to have Angel peeking out, get spotted. Doesn't want to bite off more than he can chew, so he will just fall back a little bit. Allow Ma uh, Fnatic that mid-control once again. Maybe just don't play with it this time. Hellraisers, is Fnatic going to reconsider and reconvene? They fall back towards a T-spawn. Moving back towards the A site as well. It's going to be Lecro just left to create a bit of a distraction on B, and especially with the AWP, if he finds a pick here, they could honestly be forced to rotate players over. You can already see Angels moving in from the CT spawn to go towards that B site, so Hellraisers are completely reading this wrong. And that's very intelligent. They did. You saw he checked up mid because he was expecting the aggression up short from any mid players from Fnatic, which they have been doing consistently. Opening frag for the A site because they have rotated away. They have gone for that. Meanwhile, across the map, they do take down Lecro, but he's just one man. And the four of them are just rushing onto this A site. They've taken down two players already. Hellraisers have a sat in that CT position, but he's not going to be able to see anything. Even though the corner of that smoke was lined up very, very nicely for him, he's not going to be able to peek, and he's not going to be able to do anything about it. Dead Fox, the first on the retake to chime in, finds the spray with the UMP. Ooh. Golden taken down as well, means that they have control over most of the site ground right now. JW spots a gun, but the peek back in is able to shut it out, but Flusher in a beautiful flank. Trigger discipline from him is absolutely on point. He's checking. He knows they're faking the defuse. He's waiting. Oh, they turn no. around, and Dead Fox actually lands the shot. They're going to start for 
for the Diffuse right now. As JW jumps up, they're looking at it. He can't see the oh. shot, and the Diffuse comes through. Hellraisers take the round of Fnatic with a massive error. And Dead Fox, I think he picked up the Ace Slayer into that round, or at least four kills. What a phenomenal effort. That work with the UMP was masterful. To actually kill Flusher in the CT spawn at that kind of range with the UMP is incredibly impressive. So. A nice trigger div discipline from Flusher calls for his teammate not to peek out of the palace because he knows they're not on the bomb, and he still goes down. Can I re uh, re predict my MVP, please? Yeah. Because <laughs> a play like that, Flusher, you can't let those slip through the cracks, especially against a team like Hellraisers who are starting to step up to the board. And yeah, they dropped the ball there. They had the sight, they had the advantage, they had the position, they had everything they needed, and it just came down to the fact that Dead Fox is uh, really, really good at that UMP. And uh, it looks like they're lining up for A-Sight, and Issa is just going to shut down Krim straight away. Mid-control, though, completely in the hands of Fnatic once more. And they've actually boosted up a player into window as well, so that's slightly dangerous. Hellraisers don't have control, but maybe they're aware of the potential. JW starting to wrap him through the spawn, but Woxic predicts it. Takes him down. Two kills on the AWP so far, and two more to find. No utility left for Fnatic either, so it's aim battles and Brawl left for the Swedes as they start to wrap into B, let Crow to go through the B apartments and dangerously pushing the bomb in through CT spawn, but again, it is a 2v5, so we've not exactly got a lot of options here. It's all going to be down to whether Golden can sneak his way in through CT up towards B, but look at Woxic's position again. He's just holding from the CT spawn. If he commits and Woxic gets the timing right, he can just turn around and drop that flank player. But Letgro starting to push him through the apartments. Maybe Woxic's going to turn around potentially for this retake. And yeah, and that's going to mean now Golden can't push him to B. Although Woxic has his knife out and he gets caught off, goes down. Golden reconsiders with the presence now shown on the B site and he's going to fall back towards A, but there's still two players here. He has a lot of weapons to come uh, in to face with and it's going to be Angel to just close it down and Fnatic take the round loss. Again, oh, that's pretty much off the back of the previous round loss. They they sort of might be a little bit iffy on that one. Maybe it would have been a time to take a tactical pause, but they're not LDLC. They're not going to do that. Um, yeah, so Fnatic completely reset on their economy now. They don't have anything really to play with and they are fully forcing into this. Not too sure they should have done that. They had this is that was the second round on the trot that they lost, so yeah, they, they, they would, would have been, been on the loss bonus. Maybe not happy with seven rounds, but seven rounds T side is really good. So it doesn't make a lot of sense if you had like a bad round score going for this force would make sense because it means you have potential to pick up you know two more. They've got enough. They could be happy with ecoing this one and then buying up AKs to go for an eighth. Now they're not really left with a lot of options with two rounds left of the half because next round they'll have 2,400 plus bomb plant and kill bonus money. So very weird from Fnatic. Very. Very Fnatic, but <laughs> again, it's... It's more you know, LDLC than Fnatic. Yeah. I don't know if I like it. I'm going to keep mentioning them. I'm going to stop that. <laughs> I don't know if I like it, but let's see if it works out. Fast into B. Dead Fox will open up onto Crims in the meantime through the smoke. And Zero, he's in a nice position, but no one from Fnatic going to contend through that smoke. They already hold back. Flusher doesn't want to lose control of the bomb. The split through connector has no effect. And yeah, this is it. Fnatic, they are, they're going to have to be double forcing, and uh, this will probably just get Hellraisers the advantage moving into that second half. Zero does get spotted out. Flusher trying to take the frag, but no, they just waste their money. Yet again, now it's just Lecro. He's going to be shut down with no problem. Zero finds another one, and Hellraisers bring the scoreline even. And yeah, Fnatic, that was a bit of a silly buy now because you can only do the same thing here. You're not really going to have that much utility. What are you going to do? I mean, they took, they can take mid control with a couple of good smokes, but then they're not going to have that much utility left behind. An A site take potentially, but then we've seen Hellraiser so strong on that hold that maybe they're not going to be looking for it. And B site, again, maybe, but it's so much to do on such little weaponry. Didn't work before. Why would it work again? Let's find out. Apparently not. Woxic shuts down the first in middle. Lecro dropped. There's another CZ start to take control. The smoke's again good and the control taken, but Hellraisers will be a little more confident. They can face into these CZs knowing they'll have the range advantage. And Angel, again, doesn't need to hold back passively here. The, the Molotov spread. could spread. I'm feeling it. Oh, he gets very lucky. Should buy a, lock, a lottery ticket. Toasty toes. Indeed. Short smoke down and Fnatic pushing up aggressively past it. Hellraisers, only a couple of players left on the B side. But at least they're aware of short this time because, again, we've already seen that come back to haunt them in the previous uh, previous rounds. As Dead Fox spots are moving up towards the site, he's going to have support from zero. It's a two-way split up through Absent Short, but it is getting mopped clean. Not a single death from Hellraisers. A very clean last couple of rounds. Eight to seven. Good stuff from them, but still a great T side for Fnatic. We'll see if they can carry on with this same kind of performance after the break.
Welcome back. Second half. Hellraiser's in the lead. Fnatic taking a couple of dicey last round four spies. But let's see if they can uh, well bring up the performance on the second half that we hope to see on the CT side. But again, Hellraiser's are in the lead, and, and that's what's important. But already, aggression from Lacro. It's not going to spot out anything. Zero is just holding passive. They are spreading out once more, not opting to take the Fnatic strategy of taking mid control. And once more, Fnatic have opted to do exactly that. They have got those players looking mid and watching for that push. Not going to come, though. Hellraiser's looking more just sort of completely spread out. They have a baseline. Looks like they're going to be playing late into the round here. And Woxic takes an aggressive crims. Fnatic, you can't let slip-ups like that happen. You need to just hold back. Oh. <laughs> Choking like Grimms, apparently. And, and now with that pick as well, Hellraisers, if they had a, set, a setup, they could have burst onto that bomb site. but they've got all their players on the other side of the map, so they're going to wait for that pre-rotation, maybe hope that Fnatic draw a player back towards the A bomb site, and then maybe send these players into B. Although, as I say that, the bomb moving its way into middle. Players finding their way out of underpass. Two spotted on this A bomb site by Issa, so he has some information to work with, but it's Flusher who shut down the mid-control. JW as well. Fnatic just railing onto these T players. Only three left and no utility as well. But look at where Issa is. He's managed to go all the way towards CT, completely unnoticed. They have no idea he's there. He's able to take down Golden. JW's on the site as well. He's checking for any backup, but Issa's already made his way through all the way to CT. Zero finds one as well, and now two players left alive for Fnatic. They have their work cut out as JW is surrounded on all fronts. He needs to come up big here. He needs to take down all three of these players if he really is in, a, in with a shot. But Woxic, picking up that USP, is able to close out the kill. Now, Lekro, it's your time to shine, but Issa shuts it down very very quickly and Hellraisers slip through the cracks as Fnatic seem to just be not there. Issa is like the best pistol player on this team without a doubt. Every single pistol round, if he gets a USP on his hand, CT side, T side, he just dominates with that gun so much. I saw him versus FaZe as well yesterday on Inferno. He picked up a 4k in the pistol. He's honestly so good at these pistol rounds, it's insane. And really good positioning to get so deep into CT without Fnatic having any knowledge as well. Considering they knew he was in Palace at the start, that's the best part. And now Hellraiser's a couple of rifles. This is the typical Hellraiser's buy. Two Mac 10s, UMP, double AK. And Fnatic forcing things up. The odds have turned. I certainly Betway, have. Betway, Betway see now that I am right. I am the one uh, in charge. Um, My predictions have been pretty good so far. I've called all these upsets. Yeah, fair enough. Have you? No, no, not, no. The, not the Hellraiser's phase one, but again, who was going to call that? You didn't. Uh, no, okay. you also I'm getting called Big Head by. Uh... Well, I mean, uh, with good reason. Also, you didn't call it G2 LDLC last map. So, in fact, I called that. I called so, the first map. Yeah, but you didn't call the second map. So, you haven't called the upsets, have you? Let's be honest. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting <laughs> bullied here. One well, this map. it's your turn. As they push in through connector, Crims able to get one kill, but they trade it back. Two for one. Fnatic. Two players left alive on the retake. They are just going to go for this one. They don't really have too much uh, at stake here. The Deagles oh, landing the shot. God. Lecro onto Issa. So they've taken one of their star players out. And if they're able to get onto Dead Fox, I mean, it's it's doable. They both have armor. They both have Deagles, and they're both very, very accurate. And if he finds one kill, there we go. There's the kill onto Dead Fox. Finds a second oh. headshot, and now Zero's left last man standing. They don't have a kit available. And the UMP is put over onto Lecro. Flush it with the MAC-10-0, holding with the AK from they Ramp. They know where he is. He's going to go for the shots, though, and he's going to win out those trades. Hellraisers by the skin of their teeth. Fnatic nearly coming back into that one. I think Flush actually might have seen him on the jump, or maybe not, because the, the, the stairs player was actually looking towards Palace. But he might have uh, spotted something there, at least had a bit of a, an inkling towards Ramp. Good round, though, from Hellraisers, and uh, now the full eco from Fnatic. And you wonder something that surprised me so much about this Hellraisers team, at least now that we've seen them in this new roster, is their, their lack of double orping on the CT side. You'd think a team like this would be so commonly double orping just... Uh, oh, wow. Okay. Um, Forget what I said. What was that? Uh, it was um, a miracle, I think is what we call that. Electro uh, <laughs> decimating Hellraisers, sorry. What on earth? Two players left. Woxic, sorry, not Woxic, Zero, the top of middle. He's going to be tagged up heavily. It's down really to Issa to make a play to come in from the back lines, but they're going to hear him here. They know he's coming. As Golden sits in the connector, going to be fully knowledgeable on the whereabouts. Issa needs to check this corner as well because it's so dangerous. Deagle surrounding all areas, and Lecro spots the rifle. He takes the headshot as well. Four kills for Lecro right now. He could pick up the Deagle headshot ace. It's all Zero, 1v2. He has the chance here. The bomb is dropped, so they do know where that is. He's going to be watching the smoke going through. He's going to be trying to get those shots because he wants that ace. 5 HP on zero means a breath of fresh air. 
would take him straight down. So Fnatic in a very commanding position now. They know where the bomb is. Zero has to push on. There's not a lot of time left either. So no matter if he gets the bomb anyway, they can split up. They can go for one man on either side or they can stack a site and go for that full retake. They don't have any kits available and they don't have the armor, which is where the advantage for Zero comes in. But at 5 HP, it really doesn't matter because any trade he goes for could be super deadly. This is going to be incredible if he can do it, especially with Golden up on B. One bullet is all that's needed with this AK-47. And they should know he's tagged as well as he starts to move up towards B. He's going to run out of time. He's going to have to start sprinting here, and Golden's going to hear him moving into the site as well. He's actually holding his back. So Bomb Plant is at least going to come in potentially for zero, but Golden... As I say, they're going to start to move in. Knows he won't be on the flank with such little time remaining. Here's the bomb fire, and he's just going to run on in. Forces him off the bomb, and I don't know why you would get off the bomb, because it's so unlikely there's going to be two players on the site there. Zero gets baited off by the pre-fire shot, and that's going to be Fnatic picking up the round. What a win from Lecro. Disgusting deeks. That was absolutely insane. Three players pushed around the corner, three bullets hit the skull, and that is what you need to come back into this one if you're Fnatic. They're going to be really, really happy with that performance. Able to save up one of those AKs as well. Picking up a couple rifles means that Hellraiser's now sat on very, very little. There's a, a Deagle, Issa trying to emulate Lecro, but very, very unlikely. Two P250s as well, but the rest of them, they're just going to be sat very, very much at a disadvantage. JW holding face in mid, watching for those players, but he doesn't manage to hit the shot, and I'm surprised that he didn't hit those. That was a very slow peak with no utility. Let's see if the Deeg of Issa can be as dangerous as the one of Relecro as he pushes on through. JW shuts him down at first face, though, and Angel, while he'll trade, this shouldn't be too much more. Only P250 is really for Hellraisers after that first kill. Zero, mollied off, caught in the underpass, Fnatic surrounding him, and he's got a lot on his plate as he starts to push on through, waits for a bit of aggression, sees if Fnatic are going to start to push onto his position, but they don't know exactly where he is just yet, so... He's got that element of surprise, spots out flush of damage, but he doesn't take the kill. That's so unfortunate. A one opportunity is given, and he doesn't get to take it. Golden finishes off the job with a USP, and that will be Fnatic to find himself a ninth. So a close second half this is being. And Hellraisers, I imagine this is going to be their pause because their money is really awkward. Oh, okay, the opposite. Technical on, uh, on Fnatic as well. There we go. Okay, so... Just take stock, Hellraiser's not too strong on their economy right now. They're going to be figuring out where they want to be going in terms of what they buy, what they push in. I mean, I wouldn't be too surprised, given that they've just lost two rounds on the, in a row, if they did go for a force. Um, but they should be saving here, really, if we're honest. Uh, this Fnatic is... will just be full buying. They should have saved their AWP from JW as well. There was a player in window, so they will be able to pick that one back up and just one rifle need, needing to be re -bought. They're going to have a lot of money now moving forwards. 10-9, so they're nearly drawing even, and I'm expecting it to come 10-10 here. This is a round for Hellraisers where you kind of put in half your money. You go for those pistols, maybe UMPs, maybe a Catalyst AK or two on a couple of players, but you shouldn't be spending everything. They haven't got enough across the full board. And unless they were to go for a full buy with like three UMPs and two AKs, and, or maybe a little, I don't know, it'd be a really weak buy. Okay. No, they just give up utility. Ah. Who needs nades? Who needs nades? This, Who always, needs this always upsets me so much as well, because I like to think teams like Hellraisers are going to go for a lot of utility, and it's like, oh, they're, they're not going to go for full rifles because they want nades. And then they just completely throw this out of, out of absolute nowhere and give up all utility and just go for full rifles, just you, playing aim games. You say that, but it seems at the moment Fnatic... I mean, we saw it with Dead Fox. Like, he just completely 180'd on, on Flusher in CT. Like, it seems like they're, they're winning those Angels, and JW doesn't win his, and Hellraisers are winning theirs. So, th this is exactly what I was talking about. It seems like Hellraisers at the moment are outperforming Fnatic in terms of their aim for me, but remains to be seen if Fnatic are going to be able to use that utility, that advantage. That is what they have over Hellraisers right now, despite being a player down. They have actually used quite a lot of utility. I don't think they had much to start with, because I haven't seen too many smokes go out, but obviously A-Site Mirage, you do need to hold down those smokes early. You do need to commit that relatively early on. Flusher will be able to take the shot and get away with his life. And now, three players on three, able to bring it even on the man count. Hellraisers looking to pressure in mid and towards B. Zero in such a crucial position right now. Needs to catch out one of these players on the edge of the smoke, but he bides his time. All fall back, and with the bomb moving back in towards T-Small, maybe they're looking to go for an A commitment, potentially. He could split through the underpass, but no, okay, they reconsider. They start to move up short, and with the time left, this is essential, because they're running out of time, and not only that, do they not uh, have... 
not only that, but they don't have utility, so they can't smoke off connector, they can't smoke off window. Fnatic could potentially peek them in the middle, but luckily for the Hellraiser side, these CTs are playing passive. One on the site. That's Lecro, and he's going to have this short cut off. If he can drop the bomb, this is massive. But Angel running and gunning just takes his head off as they charge into the site. Second kill coming in as well, and enough time for the bomb plant. He is on fire right now. Golden pushing in through the short. We'll just get turned on. Woxic peaks, gets the headshot. And as I said, Hellraiser's winning these Angels. Fnatic not stepping up to the plate. They are really just being run over here. And a lot of these rounds could be going Fnatic's way. One or two, you know, it's excusable, but we've seen it a couple of times now, a couple of times too many from Fnatic that they are just losing here, barring that beautiful performance from Lecro. He's going to be trying to do it again with the Deagle, but mm. that's very, very unlikely. Hellraiser's doing very, very well here on Mirage, which, to be fair, you did call earlier on, so props to you uh, that they would be having a little bit of a dominating performance, but Home Angel, again, just continuing like he did from last round. Yeah, JW aggressive at mid with the P250, but he can only find one. Quick trades found across the board for Hellraisers. They take the man advantage by Storm, two on four. And only Deagle's left in the hands of Fnatic as they just try to group up. We just have Hellraisers pressuring them and Dead Fox. Dear oh dear, bursts onto the head of gold and leaves just let grow. I mean, we see him get four kills with the Deagle. It's always a possibility, but I'm not going to hold my breath. We'll see as he starts to push up through short. Hellraiser's is just holding passive because they know he's going to push and make a play in this kind of situation. So they're not forced to really go for a bomb plant and potentially lose a player while he's got his pants down planting the bomb. And they just group. Dead Fox finishes off the job. Nice round from him. Three kills. And Hellraiser's almost flawless. 12 to 9. Now we see the buy from Fnatic. So they have their orc back on board. They have the rifles back. And JW's going to be able to take that one away. Utility pretty much across the board. No helmets being bought up, that's fair enough. But no kits, which I'm actually quite surprised about. Uh, if Hellraisers go for a fast execute and get the plant, they're really limiting, limiting themselves in terms of the time that they have to go for those retakes. And that could force them off to a three, maybe even a four-man save, but fast onto B for Hellraisers. Yeah, desperation rush, and it won't work out. JW shuts down the first, and Lecro anchors from the van as well. Still JW doing work, and he'll distract them enough for Lecro to peek, but he gets nothing done. Gets sprayed down for Angel. And luckily, Flush has already pushed himself in. I don't think they realize it. Can't afford to plant. He can just drop the bomb planter right here, and now but he takes down Angel instead. Peeking in for more. Walks it getting hunted, and Flush, oh. he pulls out a nade. A crucial mistake you cannot afford to make in a 1v1. And Walks it will take full advantage 25 kills this man is nutty that's absolutely insane and i think your mvp prediction well obviously your mvp prediction is absolutely on point he has been doing so much work Issa as well i have to give credit it, even though the, the score count doesn't uh, doesn't sort of match up 11 to 12 he's been doing so much work in terms of the position that he's managed to get hellraisers in and Fnatic just making these silly mistakes, and again, Flusher just goes down early on. It's a pissed around, so it's not too too devastating, but still, these mistakes that Flusher, you know, you could have pulled out the pistol and gone for those shots if you weren't confident on your spray, but it just didn't happen like that, and, well, now Fnatic are paying the price. Hopefully I won't get cut off on this eco talking about something again, because it, be it shouldn't be a close round, hopefully. As, uh, as yeah, I think Dead Fox is someone as well to look out for. Again, this is a man that switched off the AWP recently with the addition of Woxic. He's onto the AK, currently on 22 kills, or 23 with that one this round. So he's putting up numbers. The newly transitioned rifle player, and somehow he's at the top of the board with the AWP. You know, that's just so impressive. It's very rare that you see a team bring in a new player to replace their AWP player. They usually just swap their AWP out. And I was very surprised when Hellraiser kept Dead Fox in, because I wasn't convinced on his rifles, but he's showing up today. This is a great map so far for Hellraisers. 14 to 9. Fnatic on the edge of death's door. They've got to buy in. JW can get the AWP with body armor as well. So it's good enough here for Fnatic, but it's not the money that's been holding them back at all. You look at this scoreboard, right? Two rounds on the CT side so far. And that was just off the back of that eco win from Letcro. And then a one buy round that they got reset straight after. So Hellraisers, it's, it's been their game so far. No mid control either. Hellraisers haven't been doing exactly what Fnatic put so much time into, so much investment into. Hellraisers really haven't been doing the same. I mean, we did see it last round, and now they are starting to sort of tread their toes in as well. So they have actually gone for a slow mid hold. So I take that back a little bit. Um, JW, though, is going to be in that window room, and I believe he just spotted out the underpass player uh, with that jump. So they do have a little bit of an inkling as to where the rest of the players are positioned. They know maybe they're not going for that sort of full fast A site take, so they can rotate their players back to play a little bit more passive so they don't get cut off if they get sideswiped from connector. 
But it looks like they're going to be pushing up short with those smokes coming through as well. Hellraisers have left the bomb on T-spawn and they picked it up finally, pushing into mid. Molly up short, Flasher, aggression will take down Dead Fox quickly, and Angel is going to look to trade, but unable to. It's York for JW that misses a shot, and that's going to come back to haunt him. Walks it, drops him, and follows up. This man is not missing today with the AWP. Two kills off the back of JW throwing a shot, and that may lose a round for Fnatic. They're down a man. And Hellraisers are going to start to regroup for this A bomb site. Luckily for the CT side, we've got a double rotation in through the CT spawn. So Golden and Crim's going to be in position. But again, they're not favored. Hellraisers have a plethora of utility moving into this. The only thing Fnatic have going for them is the fact that if they get the kill and drop the bomb, Hellraisers might run out of time. Very, very low, as you said. 20 seconds left on the clock. They're going to execute their take here, and Golden is able to get the first frag onto Woxic, so they've already taken down the Star Orper. He's no longer going to be a factor in this round. The, the flashbang comes through, but it's not going to be enough. Issa lands the shot. The plant is going to go for it, and the spray through stops oh, the plant, go. and that's the time. They don't have any time now. Fnatic get a little bit of respite, but they still have a long way to go if they want to come back into this one. It always confuses me why he goes for such an open plant there as well. He could. They had utility. They could have just thrown a smoke, at least on, uh, on, one, on one of the other positions. You know, at least for the connector, for example, and, and have an aggressive player to push the push the jungle, push the connector, take control of that part of the map. They had two very passive players towards ramp and CT, uh, ramp and uh, palace, sorry. And instead of doing that, why not get aggressive? And why not try and take control so you can get that connector plant and, and have safety from CT? So I think what what happened there was they didn't expect both players to be CT. Mm. They expected one to be palace, maybe one connector as well. They thought that they would be stacking that B bomb site, uh, moving in to try and hold that. And of course, with the silenced M4, no trade is going through the smoke, so they might not have been aware, especially with the M4 spray covering it up, that there was another player there. So the plant for that position really could have been just off the back of they didn't have the information that they needed, and Fnatic capitalized and are able to take the round from them. Yeah, great round as well, considering you know, everything that happened with Woxic shutting down that double mid presence as well. So Fnatic given a lifeline back into this map, but they are going to have to take it here and now. Hellraisers. Still with a buy up, still with the AWP, dangerous as ever in the hands of Woxic and two players up towards the apartment. There's a smoke in middle, so JW unable to get anything done here. He can't hit the blind shot, so Hellraisers are given free mid control. Good utility usage as well. Down on shorts, going to allow them to push, uh, push their way up as well. With the combination of the bomb and the apartments, Hellraisers have got a pretty good split here, but Flusher knows exactly what's going on. They'll bait him through the smoke. He wastes all his ammo, and now they're going to start to push up. Well, no, because they're burnt, and JW gets a kill as well. So they have only got one player left towards that ladder room. I'm not too sure if they're aware of that. Flusher is just going to put straight oh. into the danger zone, and Issa capitalizes there. The flank now coming through, and Angel's just going to shoot Golden down in the back. Now two players left for Fnatic. As they do rotate through. Issa actually taken very low, drops the nade underneath oh, himself, and kills wait, himself for it. That was the, oh, that was the Molotov God. that he had to put away. And he just threw it at his feet. And yeah, so they are just going to take the L on that one. So a bit of a BG, but nonetheless, they do have two players left, and they are just going to get the plant. JW pushes on and actually stops uh, Waxic from having any more impact into this round. They know where the final player is. He's going to jump up. JW, look at where you're shooting, my friend. That is a mistake you cannot afford to make. And it feels like JW just isn't performing today. He's missing shots. Was not expecting that peek up from Angel, I can tell you that now. But a 1G and an actual 1G as well. That's very rare to see a player actually burning themselves to death with their own Molotov. It's been a while, it has been a while. But they will do it. And Hellraiser still, despite that on Issa, pick up the round. It's going to be 15 to 10. Fnatic forcing things up again. But we have seen this work before. Let's not take it away. electro has been showing off with a deagle a little bit. Not just in that one round, but he's been putting up consistent kills on the CT side. Unfortunately, it's not really been leading to anything too much other than that couple of rounds Fnatic did pick up. I mean, they've, they found three so far this half. So Hellraisers really are playing dominant into the T side, and it's what I like to see. Woxic on the AWP once again. He's going to just be holding the top middle as Hellraisers start to take B control, and we could just be seeing the exact same setup from the previous round. They've got the players in the same positions, and they have got the potential to just, just, to just go for it. As that grow holds on to B, they just bait him out with utility, trying to see if Fnatic have any of their own, and it will be used. Already all the smoke's gone for the CT side, now just left the three flashbangs and a minute on the clock. Hellraiser is not too sure what they want to do with this advantage. They need to figure out where they're going to hit and push in and try and go for those takes, obviously using that utility that they haven't used almost anything. Ooh. There's Flusher landing the headshot in mid, so they do have now more information on the side of Fnatic uh, to uh, to keep uh, 
rotating through and put those players where they need to be. Hellraiser's pushing up through mid, through connector, landing shots, and that's all you need to do. Angel finds a second as well. Now three versus three. Fnatic holding on this A site. They still have two players there. The bomb in mid, but 25 seconds left on the clock. There's not a lot of time at all to play with. Are they going to be going up to B? Are they going to be rotating into A? There's two players to contend with, and they are just running this clock ever closer to the final to the, the final tick. And with Golden in Palace as well, he can just strike when they go for the bomb plant. They might expect it. This is an open plant for Palace. Golden can single-handedly win this round, and yeah, they'll go for it. Here we go. Golden pushes out, and he forces them off the bomb. They have to jump no back time. on, and they've done it. They've got the bomb plant. He's not going to be able to stop it. Zero no. supporting from the Palace, and now it's just going to be Lekro trying to retake. Hellraiser somehow do it. They get off the plant, and they get back on with a second remaining, and Lekro, we are going to need something absolutely phenomenal if he wants to keep Fnatic in this first map. Mirage seeming to go the way of Hellraiser's. He hits the shot. He does damage. He hits the shot onto Woxic as well as he keeps to move, keeps moving back on in. Knows Angel's low, but two bullets left. The Molotov on the bomb, and Angel will finish off the job. It's a tease to find it, and it's Hellraiser's to close out the first map. 16 to 10. Fnatic, not a strong CT side at all. Certainly not. It felt to me like there are rounds they should have won. Yeah, and they weren't certain. winning the Angels, and they weren't winning where they needed to. JW specifically, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm going to have to call you out there. I think you could have done a lot better. He was, you know, we saw that orb shot that he missed in mid. He he got turned around and flicked on by Woxic, who was out outdoing yeah. himself. And then he turned around and got another kill. So that's the sort of play you can't you can't miss. Again, that player on top of ticket booth as well. Just check your angles. You knew where he was. You knew what was going to happen. You'd smoked off the position, and you knew that the smoke was not covering the whole angle. But yeah, uh, I'm 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 personally disappointed. But <laughs> fantastic showing from Hellraisers. They really, really stepped up, and they're showing you that the win against FaZe wasn't a fluke. Yeah, not at all. These guys are consistently taking maps away from top teams and series as that. I, I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to go, you know, balls to the wall on this one. I think they could take the second map too. Why not? Again, we are moving into Inferno, a map that Fnatic haven't been too bad on, but it's, again, one that they, uh, one that, sorry, um, Hellraisers have taken away from good good teams. They've taken it away from Na'Vi. They've taken it away from um, FaZe, as we saw yesterday. So, yeah, I'm committing with it. I'm going all on the hype train. Hellraisers to win the Major. Who who even cares at this point? <laughs> I, I think this is going to be a 2-0. And, and Fnatic, they really, they are going to have to step up. Because, I mean, look at some of these missed shots. Look at this uh, with JW. That is, that is a crucial mistake. And it ends in Woxic finding two. And Hellraisers winning the round. So... Yeah, just uh, just a shame to see, but a great performance nonetheless from Hellraisers, and you can't take that away from them. Again, people need to stop underestimating this team. No, as you said, Woxic absolutely just on fire, completely throughout that entire game. He was hitting his shots, he was landing everything he needed to. Issa as well was doing great work. Who was it who you said? Dead who Fox. Was, uh, Dead Fox, who was, yeah. who, who was Up, second, um, second top, fra second top yeah. frag after being swapped off the orb. Like, that's really, really strong from him. So, Hellraisers a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, definitely. And we're going to be seeing if they can continue their good performance into Inferno. That will be the second map up against Fnatic in just a few minutes. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be a banger. We'll be right back. ESL Pro League is brought to you in part by Intel, the city of Odense, GeForce GTX, Lenovo Legion, Bedway,